Alright, so, as I promised you guys on the last two videos, I am going to show you my little setup. So, here's my, I guess, the interior of my home and everything like that. There's a little piano right there. Here's the stairs to go upstairs in my house. And then, you see the carpeted floor. Um, here we have a little keyboard, piano keyboard right here. Got this a while back. Um, and look, there's me in the mirror. Sorry for the lighting. It's a little bit dim right now. I'll open the windows for a second, but I wanted to show you the, the lighting setup. So, if you can see around the mirror, I have these LED strip lights and everything like that connected over there. And we have this little power cable right there. That's my camera charger. Um, and yeah, so I essentially hung up the LED lights all the way around here. And then it goes up and down and around, and that's, that's as far as it goes. Now, here is the main setup. So, this is YouTuber's very first setup. There's really not that much, you know, it looks a little bit fancy, but it's mainly just like messy stuff that I got from here and there. Well, let's start with, I guess, the uh, trash can. <laughs> we have a table that I got for like, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 dollars at Costco or something like that. I'm probably going to return to get another one eventually. Got this chair I scrapped down from upstairs that was not being used. Got this little mat that was also not being used. So we have that. A whole bunch of cheap options. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys know what the not so cheap options are. Um, yeah, so we have all that, and here is my desk that I currently work at. Let's see what this is. Cool. And essentially, we have a little daily journal I keep. Um, it's mainly for, it's called gratefulness journaling, it's something I'm trying out to tell myself and ask myself what I feel grateful for every day. Um, we have a Wallet, phone, and keys, you know, the trifecta. The trifecta right there, little wet wipes, napkins, little clock, a nail clipper, uh, a name tag with a metallic clip that I like to fiddle around with, a hair tie, headphones. <laughs> Ooh, haven't used that in a while. Or earbuds, technically. Um, I have the headphone case, and then this is the remote that I use to control the lighting situation. It comes with the lights. And essentially, if I press a button or so, it'll change the color like that. It actually changes both sides, which is really, really nice. I can it to whatever color I want. And, oh, yeah, it takes a second. Let me switch my hand, okay. There you go, that's a little bit better. Um, so we have this, a whole bunch of stuff. You know, actually, let me, let me open the windows curtains so that you, can, you guys can see this a little bit better. I have, I situated my desk like this on purpose so that I'm able to get some natural light in as I'm going throughout my day. And all I have to do is just twist these little blinds to open them up. It's very, very nice. As you can see, I have light situated all around me. There's one right here, this little corner. There you go. Um, there's, you know, and now with the lights, you know, the, the LED strip lights are a little bit redundant. It's currently, I believe, 1, probably 2 p.m. right now. So this is what it looks like. It has pretty, pretty nice ambient lighting. The camera makes it a little bit brighter than it actually is. But, um, yeah, so this is what it all looks like. And then now we have speakers. So these are the Kanto U2 speakers that I got matte black a while back as I was trying to, you know, order things for this thing. It produces a very, very nice, I would say like a miniature surround sound system for myself right now, I only have two, but it gives me a lot nicer uh, audio quality from my computer, whatever I play music. I'm gonna turn the LED strip lights off right now. There and there. If you're wondering why it's not lighting up right there, it's because I bought two sets of LED strip lights because one was not long enough and I had to connect them both. Now, another part of my desk is uh, a birthday gift that one of my best friends got me. Um, it's this little, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's this little Chesapeake Bay joy and laughter candle thing and he wrote on it, you are what you smell. <laughs> I'm pretty optimistic, so I do get that sometimes. But yeah, and it smells really, really nice. It's like a nice vanilla -y scent. So the next thing on my desk, we have my headphones. These are really, really good. These are Bose noise canceling headphones. I forgot which exact model. I got these for my birthday a couple years ago and they lasted me pretty, pretty well ever since. Here is what just came in yesterday, as you can see from the last video. It's a Blue Yeti microphone. Here, let me see if I can make that focus. Okay, so this one is a Blue Yeti Lunar Space Gray microphone. 
um, it's a condenser mic and uh, from what I've read online you know these things are really good and I, I tested it out myself in the last video I'm sure if you guys go back to watch that you can see the quality is pretty good at least not from what I can tell above that we have a little ring light that I got <laughs> this one is the 10 inch selfie ring light with an adjustable tripod stand uh, I think this one cost me around 40 50 dollars um, I'm not sure if I'm going to return it or not I haven't really placed the camera on it too much and I didn't really need the lighting since I got the LED lights so maybe I'll return that um, but here is a really good thing I got this tripod this is a really really nice tripod stand and this is actually one of the more expensive options but because I feel like I'm gonna make this into much more of a career I decided to invest in it this was a bit over 150 it is the KNF concept uh, 66 inch portable magnesium aluminum monopod um, but essentially it does a whole bunch of things but that's what I use to mount the camera on um, when I'm recording myself sitting over here as you can see I just place them right next to each other so that uh, when the camera is placed right there uh, the lighting gives a nice little ring of light on my face I suppose so we have that obviously you can you don't need to buy this expensive thing I just really really like it plus um, I'm probably gonna end up using it to film piano and film uh, me playing the piano so I need it to be adjustable at a very specific angle and this tripod uh, has a 90 degree rotatable arm which is really really nice that's one of the reasons why I got it let's close this one part way okay let's see how it looks right now all right all right nice nice actually oh yeah that's actually perfect good very good lighting here we have a paper full of upcoming YouTube video ideas I'm not going to show you because it's a surprise, kind of. <laughs> we have my computer, which is a MacBook Pro, I think the 2017 version. Um, it's been serving me well. I take it around with me in college. Well, I used to take it around with me in college pre-quarantine. So there was that. And here is my phone, a MacBook stand. I'm supposed to run a whole bunch of cables underneath this to help it. It just helps keep the MacBook at an elevated angle, better for my eyes and better for typing and everything like that. Um, because the MacBook Pro is, you know, Apple, they don't have USB slots on the side, obviously, so I had to get a little USB connecting docks or something like that. It allows you to connect a whole bunch of stuff and connect that to the Mac. So that's about it. I'm also getting uh, an actual desktop for for all this stuff to be made much much easier again you don't really have to get any of this stuff i've been editing videos on my macbook um, pro and it's been working fine you know, i've just been editing stuff in front of a pro taught myself that taught myself how to do all these things well oh yes and if you're wondering about the cable scenario i have one little connector that's connecting multiple things um, I don't know if you guys can see that necessarily because the lighting, but it's connecting the MacBook charger, my phone Android charger, uh, and the Kanto U2 speakers. And then for the cord scenario, I DIY'd it and I made it a little bit, uh, it's kind of jank, but trust me, it looks much better in person and it's a lot better than having the cords thrown around on the ground. If you look at the ground, it looks a lot better than just having this mess. And I promise it looks, it's, <laughs> it's a lot better in person, I promise. So there's that. And yeah, this is all I have right now. I really don't have that much uh, else. I hope this was informational. This provided you a brief glimpse into uh, the start of a YouTuber's life. It's again, really, really not that much. I consider it pretty modest, but obviously, you know, I, I'm aware that I'm quite privileged to have a lot of these items. So if you guys cannot uh, afford these things, no problem. You don't have to like get speakers or a mic or headphones or anything like that. You can just talk to the camera's mic. Oh, right, one last thing. The camera that I'm currently filming this in was a camera that my parents had a, a long time ago. They bought this like years and years ago. It's a Canon Rebel T3i um, DSLR camera. And it's black, obviously. I can't show you that because I'm using it to record right now, but it's been really, really helpful. This is This is it. This is essentially it. This is the entire setup as a whole, once again. And it's kind of messy, but I like it. You know, it's a homely, homely place that I'm getting used to. None of this used to be here, actually. It used to be completely like blank space right here. I moved all this in recently once quarantine started. 
have little weights right there to help me train at night when I'm bored. <laughs> um, oh yes, and in case you're wondering about this huge, huge draping curtain, uh, the room that I'm currently situated in is at a very, very weird angle. It's like sloped up. Um, I personally don't know what the architecture is we're thinking, but it's, you know, it's like that. And I opted to get these curtains. Um, my parents helped me get them and they provide me a nice sense of privacy from upstairs. So, you know, obviously I can't have you know, people peeking into what I'm doing to spoil the fun YouTube stuff. This entire setup probably cost me around $300 total. Tops, tops. It really doesn't take that much to get started. Uh, I just wanted to share my, my thought process on, about this entire thing. It took me maybe a month to get all this put together. I just wanted to show you guys what a beginner YouTube or studio looks like. It's really, really not that much, but you know, the modesty actually, I, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. It makes me kind of happy and I'm glad that I can start out from bottom up and you know, grow upwards. So, so yeah, um, that's, that's basically it. Uh, I don't really see other people posting like 100% like all-in-one YouTuber studios. Um, and when they do, they don't usually show you exactly what every little thing is on their desk. So in case you want to buy anything, once again, this is the Kanto YouTube speakers. Um, these, this is the Blue Yeti original microphone. This is Bose headphones, MacBook. That's my setup. Here's the entire thing. Hope this was informational. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.